Thank you for joining me, fellow Guardians. This is Sam from Multiverse Mission Control, and today's quest is Kingdom Hearts. So, <laughs> I was actually considering, like, going back to my old file and redoing that race so I could ride the Suck It Riku forever, but I had remembered that uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 just kind of defaults into High Wind no matter what, just kind of assuming you lost to Riku the first time around, which, well, let's be honest, a lot of us did. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, it doesn't seem like there's much point. Anywho, I'm about ready to begin the main game in earnest. So. Hey, Kyrie. Tired? Wanna call it a day? Yeah, let's go home. Okay, tomorrow's the big day. We should rest up. You know, Riku has changed. What do you mean? Well... Hmm. You okay? Yeah, he's become a lot more philosophical. Sora! Let's take the raft and go! Just the two of us! Huh? <laughs> just kidding! Oh what dear god, he... <laughs> He You're paused. He didn't just go, yeah. Gary. <laughs> Maybe. Uh. You know, I was a little afraid at first. But now I'm ready. No matter where I go or what I see, I know I can always come back here. Right? Yeah, of course. That's good. Always good to have a home base. Sora, don't ever change. Huh? Can't wait. Once we set sail, it'll be great. Like I like your naive optimism. I feel like Riku's going to a bad place right now. Donald. Sorry to rush off without saying goodbye, but there's big trouble brewing. Not sure why, but the stars have been blinking out one by one, and that means disaster can't be far behind. I hate to leave you all, but I gotta go check it into it. There's someone with a key. The key to our survival. So I need you and Goofy to find him and stick with him, got it? We need that key or we're doomed. So go to Traverse Town and find Leon. We'll point you in the right direction. P.S. Would you apologize to Minnie for me? Thanks, pal. Mickey Mouse. Dear, what could this mean? It means we'll just have to trust the king. Gosh, I sure hope he's all right. Gladys, don't worry. We'll find the king and the king. Thank you, both of you. Gosh, can you take care of them? Of course. You be careful now. What were you about to say? <laughs> oh, and to chronicle your travels, he will accompany you. Over here! <laughs> Crick is the name. Jiminy Cricket at your service. We hope for your safe return. Please, help the king. Did you not read the letter? He said you and Goofy. Of course, Jiminy. Your world disappeared too. It was terrible. We were scattered. And as far as I can see, I'm the only one who made it to this castle. That's rough, buddy. Goofy. Oh, right. I got gotcha. you. You mean while we're in other worlds, we can't let on where we're from, huh? We gotta protect the world border. <laughs> right. World border. <laughs> like some oh. Disney version of the Prime Directive. <laughs> oh, I guess we'll need new duds when we get there, huh? Which ironically look more like your classic ones. <laughs> Right. 
It's a whimsy gummy workshop. That's the spaceship. Chip and Dale are the engineers. <laughs> that just fills me with dread, but whatever. <laughs> and then again, they did build all this. Maybe I should give them some credit. The lift needs work, though, for sure. I got this. <laughs> what the? Your architecture makes no sense. I have choice words to say to the designer. <laughs> All right. So Donald and Goofy have begun their quest. Just as destiny is about to force ours. I just can't wait. Once we set sail, it'll be great. She likes you. The <laughs> storm? Oh no! The raft! And then we never saw or heard from mom again. And given what I know later, she might not even be real. <laughs> okay. What's that? End of the world, bruh. Goose boat. <laughs> and Kyrie's. Yep, yeah, everybody's here. In the worst possible time. Holy shit, you're in my dreams! That's not cool, you can't do that! Unfortunately, I have a crap-ass wooden sword and can do nothing to affect these guys. So I'm just gonna run. You are safe in the seaside check. Briefly. For the save point. Just in case you want to save one more time before braving the new world. But, to business. Gotta find my friends. Riku! Hey! Check out this shit! It's weird, right? Where's Kairi? I thought she was with you. The door... is open. What? The door is open, Sora. Now we can go to the outside world. What are you talking about? We've got to find Kyrie. Kyrie's coming with us. Once we step through, we might not be able to come back. We may never see our parents again. There's no turning back. But this may be our only chance. We can't let fear stop us. I'm not afraid of the darkness. You put no thought into this whatsoever. <laughs> oh well. Riku? Holy crap. You gotta enjoy the symbolism here. With Riku doing the help join me pose. I thought that was better. And then. Your secret powers. Keyblade. Keyblade. So now I actually can whack these guys around a bit. Quite effectively, actually. This beats the shield I had by far. But, unfortunately, they don't stop coming. It is the end of the world, after all. And I still have someone I need to find. Oh look, there's a giant door where the secret place is. How weird. <laughs> Kyrie Sora Whoa, what's with the Yeah. Why did you disappear? 
I have so many questions! <laughs> Yeah, at world is ending. Pretty heavy stuff, I know. But stay focused. You gotta fight ahead. Ready for round two? Let's do it. Shit. Slapshot goes too quick. There we go. Hey! Why you no slap chat there? It's alright. Don't make me mad. Alright, whatever. You're still mine. Do it! Do it! See what happens. Oop. Nope. Nope. Up. There we go. Oh yeah. And all this health back. Yes. Ah, this is the leany over thing he does. Unfortunately, he also makes himself hella vulnerable. The fool! You play right into my hands. Oh, and doesn't he do like a slowly do thing here? Yeah. Uh, maybe I should just end this. Oh, no. Darn it. Well, I think I just doomed myself. That's alright there. Uh, what's going on? Oh right, he rains the little particles down. But, they're really slow. Okay. Yep. Alright, or no. I'm gonna kill ya. Yep! Dark side man. Supposed to symbolize the darkness within us all, but he's just such a pushover, I can't even take him seriously. <laughs> Whoops! I thought my arm could hold up against the entire vacuum of space! <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, look. A star's going out! Bye bye, Destiny Islands. Come on, let's hurry! Traverse Town. Where's that thing? Well, you know, maybe we ought to go find Leon. Oh, Donald, uh, you know, I bet you that, uh... Ah, what do you know, you big coyote? Ooh, what do I know? Bad form. Come on, Pluto! Don't dismiss your party. You never know what ideas could prove useful. Especially when you have no leads. Come on. Your only lead is Leon. Hi, Pluto. Good boy. Oh. Uh. Huh? Happy! What a dream. <laughs> oh. This isn't a dream. Do you know where we are? Oh, hey! <laughs> For a minute it seems like Pluto was gonna be our guide in another world. Then he just runs off. These little marks with the three hearts are gonna be things we can access once we get party members. But for right now, we're on our own. This is totally weird. I'm in another world! Just like that. And we don't even have a home base. <laughs> Can be quite a frightening prospect indeed. This was such a cool concept to me though, like... A refugee town for people who just lived through the apocalypse. Also, Sora, you're wielding a giant key. 
Why do you need someone to explain that you can open any chest with nine? Yeah. That part makes me mad. Alright. Time to do the RPG thing and talk to everyone. Those candles burning over there were specially created by Moogles. Even if you snuff one out, it flickers back to life in no time. You'd probably need magic to put them all out. Handy! And very nice of you to tell me the solution. My world was attacked by shadows. I got separated from mom and dad and finally came here. Seeing all this town will take some time, Koopo. Especially for newcomers. Even if you can't go to certain areas now, you'll be able to go later. Yeah, that's right. We're kind of locked off for right now until we get more abilities and such. This town is divided into three districts. This is the first district. And that's currently closed off. And that big old world will lead to the duck. Whereupon we can go to other worlds. But for right now, closed off. Yeah, a big old refugee town. Already better than the US. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we got the item shop over here. Run by none other than Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Speaking of, anyone excited that David Tennant is Scrooge? Anyway. Welcome! Wanna buy something or sell something? Let's chat. Our shop has all sorts of stuff for sale. That's it. Oh, come on. Anyway. Let's see what you got. Potions, high potions, ethers, and tents. Right. Good stuff. And I want to sell the pretty stone I got. I don't think I'm going to buy anything. I think I'm good for right now, but it's good to know this is here. Just because we're kids doesn't mean we can't run a business. I'm in charge of keeping the shop clean. Now my bedroom, that's tougher. I feel ya. I feel ya. I bet y'all learned plenty on the knee, uh, knees of Uncle Scrooge, huh? So, I can attack this fan, I think. Yeah. And I get a postcard! And why do I get a po- why is the postcard important? Well... This thing! Mailbox! Send ten postcards to win something! Good luck! I got a cottage! Cool! I believe that is similar to the tent. Yes, fully restores the party's HP and MP, can only be used from the menu, so not during combat. So that's like if you're having a rough time out in the field and you catch a moment. Kind of like uh, how how potions are your Estus Flask and Tent is your heal miracle. Something like that, to use the Dark Souls reference. Anywho, this shop is essentially base for us right now. Hey there, how can I? And that's Sid from Final Fantasy X. Yeah. Since this is a Square Enix game, they're constantly throwing their own characters in here. Aw, oh, it's only a kid. I'm not a kid. The name's Sora. Okay, okay, simmer down. So why the long face, Sora? You lost or something? No, well, maybe. Where are we? Huh? Traverse Town. So, Gramps, is this really another world? Don't call me Gramps! The name's Sid. Anyway, not sure what you're talking about, but this sure ain't your island. Hmm. Guess I'd better start looking for Riku and Kairi. Well, good luck with whatever it is you're doing. If you ever run into trouble, you come to me. I'll look out for you. Ah, oh, you're a good guy, Sid. What's this? Attention customers, you can synthesize items like this on a one on our second floor. Koopa! Wow, a crystal. Yeah, but unfortunately, you don't make your second floor readily accessible. You gotta hit this Trinity mark to get there. So why even advertise if you are being all shut in, weirdos? What am I locked on to? Right, the chest. Eh. And of course, yeah. Alright, so I might as well save. Okay. Thanks to Sid's kindness, we have a base point from which to branch out our exploration. Unfortunately, we are not quite strong enough yet for the real challenges. But we'll get there. So we got all these boxes. I don't think they do anything. 
Let me smash. Come on. Come on. I don't know. I was bored. And then here's the accessory shop currently closed up. This is the item workshop, Koopa! We're researching item synthesis and super weapon forging. Moogles, man. Crazy ass dwarf engineers. You can find whatever items you need at the nephew's shop. Yeah, I'm sure. And there's that big safe. But Sora doesn't get that wielding a giant key allows him to do things yet. Oh well. So, second district. And we see a guy get his soul ripped out. <laughs> yeah, that's quite a well earned welcome, huh? And a new type of heartless on the horizon. It's those creatures from the island! So even here's not safe. And similarly, they won't stop coming here. When you get later in the game, enemies will have specific spawn points and that you can wipe them out. But in the early game, you're just constantly waylaid by shadows. It can be a bit nerve-wracking at times, even. Oh wait! No, it does work like that! Because I got a moment to breathe! <laughs> Okay, maybe I should just proceed without fear then. Whatever. Oh look! The Mad Hatter has a shop here. That could only go well. Uh. I think it's safe to say my skills are going to carry me pretty well here. Now one of the funny things about exploring the second district is like... Well, let me just show. At least this early in the game. You go in one door. Donald and Goofy. Doesn't look like he's here. Keep looking! And you just keep passing each other. <laughs> okay. So the hotel. Currently closed. Currently closed. And yeah. Unfortunate. But what can you do? Not a problem. Mesh to victory. So, we got this door to the alley here. Which I might consider going in. Come on. Technically, I could just speed the story forward by going back to the first district, which also got invaded by Heartless when I was gone. Fortunately, everyone ducked inside when they saw the commotion. But I kind of want to scope out the area, you know. It's carving of a big of a bell. There seems to be a big bell above the gizmo gizmo shop. Yeah, that's gonna be important later. Anywho, not sure if I want to go in the alley or the house over here first. Come on. Hmm. Yeah, sure, the alley. Why not? Leon! Mr. Leon! Where are you? <laughs> Haven't you thought to ask for directions? So there's the chest. And I'm also just like mentally marking all the spots where chests and things are for later. I think playing this game before, like so early in my childhood, is kind of why I picked up Dark Souls so quickly. Like, it's much easier, but the hack and slash mechanics kind of carry over. Like, you gotta know when to press the advantage and when to dodge and all that, you know? I think we're right behind the hotel here. Yeah, there's an entrance up top we can access. 
Plus, whacking all these guys is gonna be good XP for later. And many lucid shards and such. I'm getting right now. And it's important to keep the battle localized to the same kind of area. If you keep running ahead, you're just gonna run into more Heartless. Come on! Which is also very Soulsian. Eh, more in common than you might think. Okay, so the house is here. The Dalmatian's house. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows where the humans are, but they were never the important part anyway. It's all about the puppies. But where are the puppies? The 99 puppies were lost amid the chaos of their world's destruction. Find them in various worlds. So the, da da the 101 Dalmatians themselves are collectible. <laughs> I will of course save all the puppies. But make me sad to think of them lost and confused and locked in chests that don't have air holes. Seriously, the chests you find them in don't have air holes. They should be dead. There we go. Hmm. Guess I'll go down here. Because I don't really remember what's back here. No, that's the third district, didn't it? Yep, okay. Oh, it might be out because you're staring at me. Best reason for getting into a fight. <laughs> well, should I hit the gizmo shop? Yeah, let's do that first. I love Slapshot. <laughs> okay. That finishing move is savage. Where is he? Leon! So, yeah. I think you can... Hold on. Come on! Man, Slap Shot allows me to just instantly retaliate when they go behind me. Oh, I think this is an infinite respawn point. And I think the reason I thought they were infinitely respawning was because I kept panicking and running ahead. That might have been it. Okay, so as you might imagine, there are like little things you gotta fiddle with here later. Little chests to be had. Not right now, though. And then there's a ladder. Currently broken. Kinda wobbly, guess I can't climb it now. But, keep an eye on that. Huh, who doodled? Oh wait, or is this like ornate markings? I don't know. Okay, third district it is then. So this is a place you can visit. I will, in fact, because I'm getting waylaid. Yeah. It will have more stuff later. I remember hating the third district my first time playing. Is this an infinite spawny thing? I don't know. Come on. Not as big a deal now, obviously, but... Okay, and that's the way back to the first district, but I need to figure out how the keyblade works. And there's a door with a fire symbol on it, currently inaccessible. Oh look, Lady in the Tram! How adorable. <laughs> okay. And a little sparky the thing. Yes. And up here is just like a random nothing, really. Just a place for Heartless to hang out. Okay. I'm gonna go head back to the first district then. Uh, 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 uh. 
And I can't even tell you what it was like playing this as a kid. At first I could think of First District as home base, but no, they're here too now. Like what what do? <laughs> I do believe they infinitely respawn here. Let me just test that out. Come on! No not. But they are here. This is the only time you'll ever encounter them in the first district, though. The rest of the game, this place is safe. And the reason why will become quite clear in just a moment. But to proceed the story, I gotta go here. Also, I never talked to you. Still haven't found them. Keep your chin up. Take another look around town. Let's get. Oh. But, dude, you just said that. Okay. Oh, yeah, he sells the, the gear. AP, but I don't have any abilities yet. Slight defense. I kind of like the obsidian. Oh, I don't have enough money. <laughs> I can only get another project chain. Might as well. So, I'm gonna equip that. I'm gonna save, get my health back. And now! They'll come at you out of nowhere. Who are you? And they'll keep on coming at you. As long as you continue to wield the Keyblade. But why? Why would it choose a kid like you? Hey! What's that supposed to mean? Never mind. Now, let's see that Keyblade. Bad touch! What? There's no way you're getting this! All right, then have it your way. And then all of a sudden you get attacked by a random stranger who has a gun blade. <laughs> now this is a fight you can lose and the story will proceed as normal, but I've got my pride to think about. Let's take him on. Unfortunately, I can't stagger him. I can only get like two hits before I have to run away. And you can reflect those fireballs if you're quick. Let me try it now. Do it. He might jump. Come on! Whoop! Shit! I'm a fool. Oh well. Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! I want you to do it! I want you to do it! Do it! I want you to do it! And he's so strong, it's like really, really nerve-wracking. If you get too cocky, you can just wreck you. Hey, do the fireball! I wanna show off! You won't do it. Come on! Whatever. Do the fireball! Darn you! Come on! Please! For the fans! No? Okay, fine. Shoot. Nah, I'm gonna wait for you to jump. Everyone's more vulnerable in the air. And each strike has fire impact too, it's like crazy. I got Berserk! Oh, I beat him! No way. I can lose. <laughs> this is so great. Now you're gonna... Okay. You still faint. Because he's just that strong. <laughs> oh, you're slipping, Leon. So that's Leon. 
I went easy on him. And of course, fans of Final Fantasy recognize... Looks like things are worse than we thought. Squall Leonhardt and Yuffie the Ninja. He's actually a hero. So they know he's probably got some reason for doing this. But from my perspective, it was just like, Why are you kicking the crap out of me? What did I do? Meanwhile, what's Riku got to look forward to? A reverse waterfall. Am I dreaming? <laughs> this cutscene wasn't in the original game. Neat though. Why no voice? Whatever. Oh, we know who that is! <laughs> Gorsh, there's nobody here! Sure is spooky! After me, I'm not scared! <laughs> Excuse me, did the king send you? Aerith. Aren't you supposed to be dead? Oh well. <laughs> Come on, lazy bum. Wake up. I always view it like these are all alternate <sighs> versions of the Final Fantasy characters. Especially considering okay? what they do to the gull wings, you know. Uh, I guess. And this is Those obviously Those creatures that attacked you are after the Keyblade. But it's your heart they really want. Because you wield the Keyblade. I'm so glad that you're okay, Kairi. Kairi? Who are you talking about? I'm the great ninja Yuffie. Hmm? I think you might have overdone it, Squall. <laughs> That's Leon. So why the name the change? Keyblade. Yeah. We had to get it away from you to shake off those creatures. It turns out that's how they were tracking you. It was the only way to conceal your heart from them. But it won't work for long. Still, hard to believe that you, of all people, are the chosen one. Oh. Well, I suppose beggars can't be choosers. Why don't you start making sense? What's going on here? Okay. You know there are many other worlds out there, besides your castle <laughs> and this town, Each getting the same explanation. Right? Yeah. Well, they're supposed to be a secret. They've been secret, because they've never been connected. Until now. When the Heartless came, everything changed. The Heartless? The ones who attacked you, you remember? Those without hearts. The darkness in people's hearts. That's what attracts them. In this case, and there is darkness within every heart. Yeah. Hey, have you heard of someone named Ansem? Heart equals soul in I this case. Slim? Whatever. He was studying the Heartless. He recorded all of his findings in a very detailed report. Gorge! Oh, can we see it? Its pages are scattered everywhere. Scattered! Too many worlds. Oh, then maybe the king went to find them. Yes, those were my thoughts exactly. We've got to find him quick. Red. That's right, the keyblade. So, this is the key. Exactly. The Heartless have great fear of the keyblade. That's why they'll keep coming after you, no matter what. Well, I didn't ask for this. The Keyblade chooses its master, and it chose you. I guess you. they said the Keyblade so had something to do with handsome support. How did all this happen? I remember being in my room. <gasps> Wait a minute. What happened to my home? My island? Riku! Kairi! You know what? I really don't know. Aww. The Keyblade chooses you, Hari! You're a wizard! Hey, Yuffie. I've heard that the Keyblade can open all sorts of locks. 
Give it a try the next time you find a treasure chest or a door lock. Thanks for explaining what Sora should have figured out a long time ago. Boom. Elixir. Excellent stuff. Excellent, excellent. Let's just uh, go ahead and get that. Okay. And Berserk. Let me, let me just... Boosts attack power when HP is critically low, combined with a weapon skill for more power. Okay, so that's not what I thought it was. Yeah, that sounds nice. But I'm gonna keep Slapshot for now. Next time I get AP though. Maybe I should get money and pick up that AP stud from Sid. Now I can't leave the room until I talk to Leon. So this looks like a good place to stop. Because the minute I do, Shit kicks off again. <laughs> Never catch a break. Not in truth. Just like minor pauses here and there. So, we're getting some Gondex now. Anson was studying the Heartless. The Keyblade has something to do with it. The key, the king went to find the report and the Keyblade. Well, no, he went to find the report and he sent Donald and Goofy to find the key. And uh, somehow, all of that, uh, cobbles together to explain why the worlds are getting destroyed. Okay. It's better than what we had. So. We just gotta be prepared to fight for our life. From here on out. And hopefully meet up with Donald and Goofy because, I mean, come on. <laughs> uh. But it's good to know we got some allies in this fight. That we ain't just doing it alone. So. Thank you all for just Eh, sorry. Thank you all for tuning in. Please comment and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And remember, you all have the potential to get good. Peace out.